So for this quick tip, we're going to talk about the Adalo geolocation components. Uh, if you need to find it, it's on github.com slash pragmaflow inc slash adalo dash geolocation. You can download the code, uh, download it to zip, run through the quick little uh, walkthrough on how to deploy it uh, privately to your application. It's not in the marketplace yet. Hopefully it will be soon. And when it is, you'll be able to just add it via the Adelo marketplace. So let's just get started. What I'd like to do is create an application that'll filter events that are close to me. So in order to do that, I've created users and we have a couple of different users that I've added into here. We have the latitude and longitude of where the user is, and we'll get into how to update this afterwards. But this is my actual location right now. We have a distance filter that we can filter events close to us. I've also created an events table, which has a latitude and longitude of the actual position of the event or the location of the event. Uh, if you wanted to, this could just be a venue and you can link venues to it. I'm just going to add latitude and longitude directly on the event itself. So I've created four different events. We have the event start time and the latitude and longitude positions of where the events are going to take place. Lastly, I've created distances. This is going to be used for filtering. So we're going to filter on meters. So we have three kilometer, five kilometer, and 10 kilometer. Uh, sorry to any Americans who use miles. Uh, we are a Canadian company, so we're gonna be working in kilometers. So three kilometers is 3,000 meters, five kilometers is 5,000 meters, 10 kilometers is 10,000 meters. So that's all we need for the, the data setup. And then we're actually gonna use Xanos uh, to actually filter the events for us. So let's head over to Xano. I've created a, a quick uh, little Xanos get events endpoint. This will take the latitude and longitude of where I am and how many meters away I'm looking for events. So we have our three parameters and we start by adding an API call to the actual um, events table here. So to get the events table, go into the Adalo API. In Xanos, you can import from curl. So when you go import curl, you can copy paste this right here and it will populate all the information for you as well as the authorization token. So once we have this, we'll be able to actually get the data. Adalo responds, um, with the response results and records. So we're getting the collection. So this is the actual structure. So we're just gonna go and create a variable based on the records. We're gonna call this the results. Once we have the results, we're gonna create a brand new variable. This is what we're gonna respond back to a Dalo on the call. So it's gonna be an empty array. So we have the response is an empty array. Now we go through each one of the items, which is the events that we're getting. And we're going to go and use the calculate distance, which is a pretty nifty tool in Xanos. So we have the input, which is where the user is located. And then every one of these items, we're going to calculate its latitude and longitude and return this. It's called variable one. This would be the distance between where I am and where the event is being hosted. So if the distance is less than what I'm looking for, so it's 10,000 10, meters, if the distance away is less than 10,000 meters, then we're gonna go, we'll do some kind of calculation, which will show us the kilometer uh, result away from me. We'll update that as the item, and then we're gonna add the item into our responses. So only, only any of the items that are within a certain meter radius will be added to the response. Once that's done, we just respond with the response itself. So with Xenos, if we run this, 
I'll type in latitude, longitude, and 10 kilometers away. We can run this and we can see we have one event that's zero kilometers away, one event that's one kilometer, and one event that's seven kilometers away. So now if we wanted to change this to five just for testing, we can run this again. And this will show us event one at zero kilometers, event two at one kilometer, and the one that was seven kilometers away is no longer being returned. So just to go through the steps again, the first thing we do is we make the API request. We get the response. We then take the response, which is all of the events that we have, and we can filter this by start time as well. I didn't bother to do this for the video. Then we go through, we calculate the distance of each one. So the first one was 800 meters away. So uh, when we calculate the distance of the next one, it's at 1302. This one's 66,000 kilometers or meters away. So 66 kilometers away. Then we can see our conditions. If the conditions met, we add it to the array that we're going to return. And in this case, the results are two events. So now we can go and add our geo filtered as an external collection. So this is the URL. Don't try using this URL. I will be deleting it after this video. We have a latitude parameter, a longitude parameter, and the meter radius. So I bounded this to the user, to the user's distance value from a dropdown, and the user's latitude and longitude. So next up, we're actually going to use the GPS component, which hopefully you've added to your to your system. And what this does is it will get the location of the current device, whether it's a phone or anything else. So there's a couple of different parameters. Uh, one thing to know, when the page loads, it's gonna automatically get the location. So we can always make this a zero by zero. Uh, we don't need to show the button. I'm just gonna leave the defaults. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add it. When, when the location has been updated, we're going to update the, the current login user's latitude and longitude. So this is how we, we will be able to pass our current latitude and longitude to Xanos for calculation. I've just added a button here. All this button does is goes to the events page. On the events page, I've added two things. The first is a dropdown for distance. So we're going to update the, the current logged in user. We're going to update the distance because we're using that to pass the Zen, uh, Xenos. So by, by filtering the distance, when we click on apply, we'll be able to update our, um, our request to Xenos. And then finally, I've added a simple list. That's just our geo filtered external API collection. The title is the name of the event. And the subtitle I've added, the distance to the events. So that's it. Uh, another thing to note with the geolocation component, we cannot use the preview. The reason we cannot use the preview is that this is an iframe. So we can't pass location data via an iframe when it comes to the web browser. Luckily in the share view though, it does not use an iframe. So now, the locate me is already fired. Um, so if I go and look, my web browser is set to very low resolution. So these are the latitude and longitude returned by my web browser. When I click on find events, the distance by default is set to 10 kilometers. So I see event one is one kilometer two is three kilometers and four is five kilometers away from me. If we look at the actual events, we can see that we have four events, but one of them, if you remember, was 66 kilometers away, so we're not gonna show that. If we go and change the distance to five kilometers, 
The one that was five kilometers away due to rounding doesn't actually show. Three kilometers, again, due to rounding, we only see the one event at three kilometers. So that's it. So now based on my location, I can actually get events that are going on near me. And if we modify Xenos a bit, we'll be able to filter out you know, events that are in the near future, maybe one week away, one month away, something like that. And instead of using events, we can actually just find people near us. So instead of using the events tab, I could have used the latitude and longitude. And Xanos pull up the user information instead of the events information and just return users close to me. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed.